This is a brand new iPhone 5C to compare a repair guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, you're going to use quite a few tools, including a safe open pry tool, a pen flip screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a suction cup. We'll also need to use a paper clip or a SIM card removal tool. But the first step will be to make sure the device is fully powered off. From there, we're going to use our SIM card removal tool or paper clip. Just pop out that SIM card tray. From here, we're going to have two pentalobe screws located at the bottom near the dock port. Both these will be the same size, so you can just put them together. Once those are removed, we're going to swap over to our suction cup and place it on the lower end of the screen assembly. I'm just going to use a little bit of pressure here and pull away. You can also use a pry tool here. It's easy enough just to use your fingers. Just gain a little bit of a gap between the screen and the housing, and it should flip out just like that. From here, we're going to have four small Phillips screws located in this top corner right here. All of these screws are different sizes, so you keep them organized. Alright, and here's the final screw being removed. And now we can just remove this metal plate. From here we're going to have access to all the flex cables for the screen assembly. This includes the touchscreen digitizer, the LCD screen, and the speaker and microphone assembly. So it's going to use the back end of our spudger tool here and just lift away those pop connections. There's one, there's two, and the final is going to be right underneath here. And there we go. The screen assembly has now been separated from the iPhone 5C. On the screen assembly itself, we're going to have a few components we're going to remove, including the top speaker assembly here. To remove this, we're just going to remove two small Phillips screws holding in this bracket over the speaker assembly. This bracket can then just be shimmied away. And the ear speaker can be pulled out. We're also going to remove the front camera and sensor flex cable here. So we're just going to take our time using the pointy end of our spudger and just release that adhesive. And there's that flex cable here. This is also going to have the front mic. Right there. Yeah. Moving on to the lower part of the screen assembly, we're going to have the home button. It's going to be three small Phillips screws that we're going to have to remove. With those removed, we can just use our spudger tool and lift away this flex cable. Just be careful as one of the holes is underneath that housing there. And as you can see, there's our home button flex cable. To move the home button itself, we're just going to push through from the front. And there we go. To move this back frame from the LCD screen, I'm just going to have to remove a few more small Phillips screws. including one up on the top side here and just two on the other side here. Once all the screws have been removed, we'll be able to peel this back housing away from the LCD and touchscreen assembly. Alright, now we're just going to move all this to the side and begin working on the actual device itself, including the battery and the motherboard. So the first step will be removing the battery here, which is going to be two small Phillips screws you're holding in this plate here, which is covering the battery connection right here. So we're just going to use the back end of our spudger and lift off on that connection. From here we're going to need to release all the adhesive holding that battery in place. The adhesive is very strong, so you're just going to want to take your time on this and make sure you don't damage the battery in any way. Here I'm just going to use my spudger tool and work my way around the outside edges. The top is usually the best access point. I'll begin working some of that adhesive around all sides, and including the bottom. Once some of that adhesive is a little bit weakened, I'll 
swap back to the front here on the top. Just begin prying underneath the battery and releasing all that adhesive. So there we go. There is the battery removed from the iPhone 5C. From here, we're just going to have the main camera, which is located in this top right corner. It's just going to be held in place with two small Phillips screws holding in a metal bracket here. Once that bracket's removed, you can release the lower flex cable here from the motherboard and lift away the, the main camera. Moving on to the motherboard itself, we're going to have a few screws we need to remove, including this top small Phillips screw. From here, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to remove these screws here. They do require a little bit of pressure being brought down on them, ensuring that you don't strip that screw. From here, we're just going to release that power button and volume button flex cable, and then just continue working our way down, removing the rest of the screws, including a few more small Phillips screws and a few more flathead screws. And finally, we're going to release this flex cable here for the dock port, as well as the antenna connection right here. It is held in place with a little bit of adhesive. Just work your way around it. Don't put too much pressure on the head of the cable, as you don't want to strip that. Moving our way back up, we're just going to gently pull down and release that motherboard. You just want to be cautious here, as there's still going to be one flex cable located underneath. So we're just going to let it lift it up and then spin it to the side. Also notice that top portion there has a small little piece of housing covering it. And there we go, there's that last antenna connection here. So we use the back end of a spudger tool. This one also is held in place with a little bit of adhesive. Let's lift that away. And there we go, the motherboard has now been fully removed from the iPhone 5C. And here's just a quick look of the motherboard after it was removed. And now we'll move on to the lower dock port assembly. To remove this component, I've removed quite a few small Phillips screws, seven in total. These will be different sizes, so make sure you keep them organized as well. So the first thing we're going to remove is going to be the loudspeaker assembly, which is located on the left side here. I'm just going to gently lift this up, and we're going to be very cautious as there is a flex cable attached with adhesive right here. Just take your time with this flex cable and make sure you release it correctly and don't rip that cable. There we go. So here is our loudspeaker assembly here. And now we'll go ahead and release that out headphone jack here in the corner. This whole flex cable is held down with quite a bit of adhesive, so just take your time with this flex cable as well. There's many components to it, so just make sure you don't damage it in any way. So here I'm going to try to get underneath the actual adhesive on this side. And since it's a bit stubborn, I'm going to swap over to the main side of the flex cable and just peel it off that way. All right, and on this component itself, we have the headphone jack, the main microphone and dock port assembly. The microphone is located underneath that small grommet there. And there we go, the iPhone 5C has now been fully disassembled. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like our video. Also be sure to check us out at repairsuniverse.com where you can find all the parts and tools used in the video. 
And also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find the latest guides for all your mobile devices. Thank you for watching.